तो दोस्तों सामने आप देख रहे हो लाइका का टोटल स्टेशन है इसको कैसे ऑपरेट करना है कैसे आप इससे काम कर सकते हो वो सब चीज़ें आपको वीडियो में पता चलेंगी दो पार्ट आएंगे इन दोनों वीडियो को देखने के बाद काफ़ी हद तक आप टोटल स्टेशन चलाना सीख जाओगे सी द रेड बटन फॉर पावर ऑन जस्ट होल्ड द रेड बटन फॉर थ्री सेकेंड देन इट विल गेट स्विच इट ऑन देन फॉर बबल डिस्प्ले बबल और बैकलाइट मेन्यू यू हैव टू क्लिक द स्टार बटन यू कैन सी जस्ट बीसाइड द पावर बटन इफ यू क्लिक द स्टार बटन यू कैन सी देर आर फोर ऑप्शन अवेलेबल वन इज लाइट लेवल ई डी एम एंड बैक सो फर्स्ट यू कैन क्लिक ऑन लाइट फॉर बैकलाइट ऑप्शन सो इफ यू क्लिक ऑन लाइट द बैकलाइट विल बी अपियर ऑटोमेटिकली देन इफ यू नीड द बबल डिस्प्ले बबल जस्ट क्लिक सिंपली क्लिक द स्टार बटन एंड क्लिक द लेवल ऑप्शन यू कैन सी दैट डिस्प्ले बबल इफ यू सी वॉन्ट टू सी दिस नंबर सो यू कैन हैव दिस नंबर ऑप्शन ओवर हीयर देन आफ्टर डूइंग द सेंटरिंग एंड लेवलिंग यू कैन एस्केप इट ओके now coming back to uh, t option you can see the t button the t is for target changing edm measure mode if you are in prism mode you can come back to uh, non prism mode by clicking this t option if you click this t option you can see there uh, the setting will be appear if you again click this uh, t option then this will be become the prism mode and there are another option you can see m if you click the m button whenever you are working in any application it will exit that application and come back to main menu so like if you are doing some survey work and if you would like to come back to main menu just click m button so it will come back to main menu okay now <coughs> inside survey option here you can see this will be angle display if you would like to see this vertical and horizontal angle during measurement you can click this button then the angle will be appear if you need the distance part so you can click this button so it will work as a distance option like that if i press as, uh, once this button it will appear horizontal distance and vertical distance if you click again then the slope distance will be appear and now if you need to have this coordinate option you can click over here so easting northing and z will be appear <coughs> below that you can see there is one button called aso stake out point if you click during survey work if you click this aso button then set out will be appear so you can uh, choose any coordinate for staking out and you can directly stake out that point now just down so you can see k1 and k2 button k1 and k2 button is uh, prefix button you can uh, select any application and you can uh, input that application into k1 and k2 button like that just come back to settings and uh, come back to shortcut key settings and here you can see k1 settings and k2 settings whatever application you need to put in k1 you can put it over here like uh, i am putting set out in k1 or offset in k1 i'm putting offset in k1 and inside k2 i'm putting area so during survey work during survey work if i am pressing k1 so it will bring back to me inside offset point and if i press k2 it will directly take me to the area measurement option so now in uh, just beside k2 you can see there is one key appear this is escape key and here you can see the enter key and others you can see there will uh, will be 0. Point minus 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 numeric key also you can have some uh, function key like f1 f2 f3 and f4 so this will be the keyboard function you can see 40 0 7 so now i will show you the data transfer part and how you could uh, delete uh, some job these things i will show you so for data transfer you have to first input some usb stick uh, inside that uh, after that you have to come back to transfer option here you can see transfer option and then you have to come back to data export part inside data export part <coughs> 
can select data type whatever data you want if you need a fixed point and observation point you can choose it like that if you would like to select some other stop you can select the other stop over here or you have to click ok after that again ok then you have to choose the format data format there as i told you there are two types format available for export option one is ascii and another is idex so ascii basically we are consider as a text or csv file so it will uh, come automatically with text file if you need csv file so you have to change that extension from uh, uh, txt to csv so you have to change that extension c sorry csv so it will directly come back to excel format so you can have that excel format then click ok so now on the things uh, export things will be appear click ok then your transfer will be finished now click no now i'll show you the manage part and job selection or job delete part you can see here the job screen will be appear inside manager so here our job is very new uh, job is one two three abc uh, is available with us <clears throat> and if I want to delete that point or erase something so here I can erase memory option available here I can choose some job for deleting so a does one or uh, one two three I want to delete so click delete option and click yes so it will be erasing automatically so you can see that memory information also yeah, the two person memory is used for this instrument thank you hello everyone now i will show you different application and different uh, operation inside the instrument inside menu button uh, you now you can uh, see the machine is in inside a menu button and inside menu here you can see different different application for seeing this selecting this different application you can use that uh, navigation key like uh, this uh, coordinate uh, button and set out option and k1 and k2 for navigation these four will be work as a navigation key so here you can see it will work like a navigation option so first we are going to uh, application apps inside apps you will find it out survey option set out option for staking out offset missing line measurement remote elevation area resection reference line and road this will be available inside apps and second option will be survey if you directly do some uh, survey or if you directly come back to uh, take some measurement or survey point so you come back just click survey and inside survey you can uh, take uh, some uh, distance or take some you can input some measurement all these things then a third option will be your manage option inside manage option you can see the internal memory status and you can see the job properties and you can see the points and you can also uh, delete some memories and you can also choose some job like that inside data manager and fourth option will be your data transfer inside data transfer you will find it out data export option and data import option in inside export option it will only export csv file and idex file it will never get export the dxf file so uh, keep it mind uh, inside your mind so it will uh, only transfer the ascii point and idex file and the raw data it will export and it will also import the same file so here the transfer option and uh, fifth option will be settings inside settings you will find it out unit settings parameter settings display settings other settings shortcut settings cdm settings time and date settings and key function settings so you can do this as your choice or if you need any assistant you can come back to me i will assist you how to do the settings part and the sixth option will be tools this will be strictly for service center users this is not for your purpose uh, purpose this check and adjust we can uh, do inside our service lab so don't try on fit thank you